Hi, this is Dr. Emmanuel Daniel, Faculty of Social Work from Kumaruguru College of Liberal Arts and Science. We're going to talk about AA1000. AA1000 is a social auditing certification. AA stands for accountability. So that's accountability. Today, I'm going to take you through an introduction of AA1000. Then we'll be discussing about a key definition of accountability, accountable organizations, principles of AA1000, scope of AA1000, and some key advantages of AA1000. So this AA1000 is a certification which enables corporates, organizations, or industries to convert their theory into practice. Any organization in today's context will have their own policies and practices. This certification helps or enables corporates or organizations to convert their theory into practice. It gives you strategies to help them easily implement those practices from its theory. The next one is it's an internationally accepted guiding principles. Every country will have their own legislations, but this certification is beyond legislations, beyond policies, because their standard is a global standard. So here, the next one is talking about sustainability performance. This certification enables corporates to have a sustainable performance. Today, many organizations started talking about sustainability. So how to have a better sustainability performance? Now this certification sort of helps them. The next one is manage and improve accountability. Also, when you talk about sustainability, you cannot forget the accountability factor. Here, this, this certification helps you or enables you to not just mere manage, but rather take you to the next level or the next standard. That's managing and improving or continuous improvement. So when I was studying about um, accountability, I found a fantastic definition given by AA1000. So I would like to take you forward. Key definition of accountability. Accountability is the state of acknowledging, assuming responsibility for and being transparent about the impacts of an organization's policies, decisions, actions, products, services, and associated performance. So this definition was given by AA1000, the organization themselves. I have never found a better definition for accountability than this. Accountable organizations take actions. Many organizations have their own policies, but the organizations which are associated with AA1000 always think in a different way. So they would always love to establish effective governance. Every organization has management principles or administrative principles, but here they talk about governance and effective and a good governance. The next one is to identify the expectation of stakeholders. Many corporates do not give a lot of importance to stakeholders. They just satisfy their customers or their suppliers. They just manage them. But here it helps you to identify the expectations of stakeholders. What, what, what is their expectation? How can I engage? So and so forth. The next one is to establish goals which can be measured. Every organization has got goals to achieve, goals to attain. But are they really achievable? That's a big question mark. But this certification helps you to formulate smart goals. The next one is to disclose credible and verifiable information. Anybody can give you an information, but how credible is that? How reliable is that? How verifiable is that? So this certification helps organizations to give such information. So these are the principles of AA1000. There are four principles starting from inclusivity, materiality, responsiveness, last but not the least, that's impact. So talking about inclusivity, inclusivity is a word which is not liked by many people. Today, people talk about exclusivity because they would like to show dominance in their area. Talking about inclusivity, you rather bring everybody together. So here, when people should have a say in their decision, that impacts them. So whenever an organization takes a decision, and if it is going to impact their employees, they should be in a position to always have a say in the decision. That is where collective bargaining and trade unions come into picture. And not just stopping with identifying the stakeholders, but actively enabling them to participate. And uh, you got to measure the involvement level of stakeholder participation and involvement. The next one is inclusivity is beyond stakeholder engagement. Stakeholder, when we talk about stakeholder, we at times be satisfied with dealing with customers and impressing the suppliers. 
No, stakeholder is a beyond a very big concept. Stakeholder, government is a stakeholder. Your own employees are stakeholders. Your suppliers are stakeholders. Your competitors are so. There are anybody who's involved with your organization is a stakeholder. Now, inclusivity is bringing everybody together in one banner. So here it is a collective organizational effect. So when you focus on inclusivity, then it becomes a collective effort of an organization to take it forward. The next principle is the principle of materiality. So the principle of materiality was earlier coined as financial reporting. It is disclosing the risk and opportunities. So when people would love to participate or would love to associate with you, are you ready to disclose the risk and opportunities? Are we, or are we only highlighting the opportunities? So we need to think about it. So this certification enables you to disclose the risk and the opportunities involved with the organization. The next one, develop a clear assessment criteria. Nobody likes evaluation, nobody likes assessment because they'll get to know their real picture. So talking about assessment approach, it should be integrated into the organization process. We talk about business, we talk about profits, we talk about strategies. At times we forget the assessment component, which is a very, very, very important component. So here, this principle of materiality, through this principle, this certification gives a lot of importance to you know, inculcating the assessment approach into the organizational process. The next one is principle of responsiveness. Responsiveness is at times only seen in the mind and thoughts, but this certification enables the organization to you know, take it forward in their action and also in their performance in dealing with stakeholders. The next one is here you understand the impact of internal and external stakeholders. What is their impact level? To what greater extent they can they are associated with you, so and so forth. The next one is establishing policies. When you talk about responsiveness, matters a lot. You know, how do you involve them? How do you engage them? You know, is your policies in favor of your stakeholders? That's a question mark. So again, this certification enables organizations to think on all these lines. The next one, very important, is principle of impact. So the result of an organization's activities, so that's the impact. So how many organizations would love to know the impact of their business, impact of their social activities, impact of their trade union, impact of various wings? So impact is about bringing in the change or creating the change. No, so when you do evaluation, you get to know where you stand. So that happens at the end of every financial year or maybe a mid uh, evaluation. So how accountable are you matters a lot. We talk about ecosystem, we talk about environment friendly policies, we talk about managing environment, but are we treating environment as our own? Are we seeing ourselves in environment, in, as a part of the environment? So here, principle of import, uh, impact is a very important principle according to this certification. So they take you forward and also they take you forward in impact and seeing you, you know, seeing you have a greater impact. The next one, the scope for this certification is this certification doesn't limit itself with, uh, you know, types of industries or sizes. They go beyond. So any type of industry, be it an aviation or a food or textile, any industry can be a part of this and they can be certified and they are not worried about the sizes, small or medium or large. So anybody, you know, the certification is open for all. The next one is very important is the certification wants you to be genuine. The certification wants you to be transparent. The certification wants you to be open and accountable. So the next one is anybody who's interested to have a strategic approach in their management, in their social activities, in dealing with their stakeholders can sort of approach this organization and get them certified with SA 1000. The next one is talking about the key advantages. There are a couple of advantages uh, when I went through the um, you know, materials. So I would like to share with you some of them. So the first one is stakeholder engagement. How effective can you have a stakeholder engagement in a corporate matters a lot. So how do you deal with them? How effectively you can use them? How do you brand yourself through them? You know, so this certification helps you or teaches you, you know, to have a good stakeholder engagement. The next one is identifying sustainability areas. 
I know corporates give a lot of importance to sustainability, but identifying them and helping them grow, nurture in that area matters a lot. So this certification again helps us to you know grow in sustainability, sustainable areas. The next one is clear organizational strategies, be it your management or your administration or your governance or anything for that matter or policy making or policy design project design implementation so they help you or they give you a clear organization strategy to move forward so thank you for uh, taking your time to listen to aa thousand so here uh, uh, I've, I've given the links underneath the slides so you can uh, sort of go uh, into those links and explore more if you want if you have any clarifications feel free to reach to me so i am available in linkedin and you can or you can write to me or you can even call to me so thank you so much once again so happy learning